Okay, so we continue to make progress, and we've started on the uh, second wall. We're done with this one, at least for now. But I want to show you something. Now, we do have a sloping uh, ceiling at 28 and a half degrees, and it's a little bit different than uh, this one, where the, the, top, the top board just kind of sloped down, and you just had to make an angle cut on the top and the bottom. Here, the top board is actually sloped to the side. And it actually changes the configuration and how you and how you should actually um, install this. If you look, uh, let's see if I could zoom in. I, if you could see there, I kind of made a cut on one edge, and you could see right there how it's fitting together. Um, let me show you something. So let's pretend that this is kind of the drywall side of our our. Uh, our wall and here's this here's the stud and it kind of fits snug up on top well you have the top board top plate up on top now if this was actually flush against the drywall then when you put this board up you can see this little edge here and maybe it's better more clear right here you can see that this is sticking out and so when you uh, go to install your drywall uh, this will kind of make a bump and won't allow your drywall to be flush. So that's that little cut I made. I kind of cut it and then this little part here makes kind of a little notch and uh, you could, uh, when you install your drywall, you could perhaps put a little, uh, little piece of wood there to help support it. But you kind of have to make it so the drywall will fit flush on this side and flush on the other side. And so you have to get rid of this little, little bit of wood. So I've angled my skill saw and I'm just going to take off the corner right here. So when you install these, you want to make sure that a board can be, the drywall can be flush here. And also, when you install this, so this would be flush, you want to make sure that on the opposite side that the board can go all the way up. And this one's in good position. So we'll go ahead and mail it in.